What is up, guys? I'm Mikey here, 31 here, Madden 20. Hope everyone is all right out there. This is going to be relatively brief. I'm not going to break this play down versus every coverage in the game. I don't have the time or energy to do that this time of year. But I want to see if Jet Chip Wasp is runnable. Chiefs Live Playbook Gun Tray Y Flex Week. And we're going to try it out against your standard Cover 3 Sky. Um, any Cover 3 will pretty much play it the same. Um, cover 3 match does not match to trips formations. So it, it'll play spot drop in any event. So Cover 3 is going to be Cover 3 no matter what style of Cover 3 you're playing versus trips or 3 receiver side set. So <clears throat> the key to this play as a single high beater is this deep square in route by Robinson there. That route is designed to um, hold the outside corner to clear space for the double move um, post corner route. In a cover three sky, safety rotation is strong to weak. So what should happen is that route should sucker the corner and three kill should break right behind him on that double move once he clears that um, curl flight defender on the reroute if you have time to get it off. And right away you see that probably gonna have Ryan display. This the pass don't have a um, dominant X factor pass rusher and you see it takes it takes some time under the best of circumstances take some time to run in real life and man it takes some time and then some that isn't actually that terrible that's not that bad Vertical stem here, safe the corner. We'll squat on that to uh, top it. Tyreek Hill, he's always gonna be rerouted no matter who that player is. It's an automatic animation, automatic reroute. Doesn't matter if it's a 70 something overall defensive back or a 90 something. They're always gonna play the bottom of the route the same in that reroute situation to root them inside. So he clears that, plus he clears the uh, hook to curl defender. Now in Madden, we know the safety just goes into La La Land uh, until the ball is thrown. In real life, obviously, he would try to top that, drive on that um, post route, and then on the double move, he's going to be cooked since he's playing with that inside, you know, middle of the field leverage. I guess a guy like Tariq Hill, that's going to be a tough job for any safety in the world. I mean, we know that. And then boom, over the top of him he goes. Now that's all fine and good, but how are people going to play you online? You're going to run into this. Three, four, pinch buck zero. Press over the top. You got a guy screaming in right away. And that happens to you. The tight end chip route, sometimes, it's basically designed to buy you more time, but in Madden, with the way defenders are aligned over that tight end from that spot, he ain't always going to do it. And he goes into La La Land, as you'll see. He has, he, he's just pushing around before he releases.
You see all that craziness he does? He should be chipping here, but he can't get there from where he's aligned because the defender can move faster than him, and he's just lost. You know, instead of either instead of just getting into his rot hout, he's doing the uh, friggin' bachata here, and isn't even an option to throw to. Now, of course, you can, you know, leave the back end to block, obviously. And you can do whatever the hell you want with a tight end. Like, you can drag him, for example. And you can do your slide protect and ID the mic. You know, run out of here. Throw in the run with Patty Mahomes. And do your thing. Because, again, once Tyreek Hill is running at a full head of steam at a defensive back... Most defensive backs with no obstruction, he's going to do that to them. And you'll also see this. One, four, six, DB sting, buzz, two. Yellow. And you're going to get base line press outside quarter outside quarter you know contain blitz all and you know the they'll man up a guy like so man up this guy like so you know guys will mug with their user there like Bentley for example and you die you know, so there's issues. I mean, a user will, you know, play on one of those two guys. And, you know, he's blitzing here because I'm not on him. But they'll mug and run to cover this. This guy's manned up outside quarter. This guy's manned up on somebody. Outside quarter. And you'll have nowhere to throw. And you'll be running for your life and getting sacked. So, have fun with that. I mean, conceptually, the play worked better against single high than I anticipated as far as being able to uh, execute it. But again, it's going to take time. And you throw an X-Factor pass rusher in there, you're never going to be able to get the ball off. <laughs> Unless you <clears throat> leave the back in at least. And, you know... You can, there's other coverages that it can attack as well. Uh, match quarters. Again, isolating a safety against Tyreek Hill once he clears the reroute or against a quarter flat defender or what have you will cause some issues. Um, it's really a single high and man match attacking concept. And it's good that they're adding stuff like that to the game, but I think that there's other things that need to be addressed before they do the you know, stuff like that is icing on the cake before you ice the cake fix the cake <laughs> you know i appreciate that and all but there are things that are more pressing as far as the game is concerned but anyway that's a quick little look at the play hope you guys enjoyed talk to you all later